Tracy Garlinghouse. Here. Scooter King. Here. Gary Talbert. Here. We got an item old business. We don't really have any old business because we're new. It's the first time this, this committee's met, so we're gonna move on to four new business uh, monthly and year-to-date financials from Miss Jennifer Meyer. packet for you tonight included in that packet um, the, the big thick staple is your year-to-date financials it looks a little bare right now because we're just a few weeks into January and, and a lot of our big revenues are still coming in for the 15 year not really for the 16 year yet so it'll be probably March before you start seeing these numbers plump up on the revenue side <clears throat> um, included in this is each fund year to date. I'll run it always the day of the meeting unless you decide that you would like to see them at a different point of time. For example, if you want me to send it on the Friday before the Thursday finance committee so that you have some time to look at it and, and ask any questions, but unless it's a very basic or something I deal with on a day to day, most of the answers I would have to look up anyway. So it, it just depends on you know when you want to see the information as to when I present it to you. Um, I have included, um, just for the sake of full disclosure tonight, the debt service statements, which I typically don't include because they are exactly what is required by the debt service agreement, the bond issuance. So just to save paper, and there's really no need looking at it. We can't spend anything other than the once a year debt payment out of there. I typically don't include those every meeting. Mm -hmm. The debt service is the back, it's the back the of the 300 level fund. Okay, yes, I got you. Any questions on that? No, ma'am. And you don't have to let me know tonight. You can look at it and then think about when you, you know, when you want to see it because it, it'll, and I, I'll always print them from the last finance committee meeting until the current finance committee meeting. It'll be, you know, one month of information updated each time. Okay. Um, the next packet stapled together is the check register from January 1 through today. We issue checks every Thursday, so it'll always include that day's checks when it's, the report's printed. Um, I always detail out what the check was for for everything 10000 and above, just so you have an idea and I can remember. If you ask about any of the bigger checks, what they were for, you'll see it out to the side there. Again, I can present this information. It's real time, and I, I can present it in any way you'd like to see it. You know, if you just check it out, let me know. And then the other thing that I have included is just a historical sales tax register. What we have collected, it shows that we're trending above budget projected, which hopefully we always will because I, I don't budget current years. You know, I don't want to jump the gun on revenues. I'd rather be real conservative. Mm -hmm. And it, it'll show you what's coming in from the Bass Pro development and the Jubin development. Okay, so these, are the, okay, they, I, I'll see what they're identifying. I do have bigger paper to print this on. I know it's small, but we were out of the bigger paper. Our, our Office Depot order hadn't come in yet, so it's kind of teeny little numbers right now, but. Okay, so this is, the, the left. the left is all Bass Pro stuff. 12, 13, 14, and current, right? 15 up to what you collected in January to date. Co correct. And the right side is? That is um, budget to actual, what we've budgeted versus what we've collected. Okay. And, and I, it just shows like a, um, how that's trending, the percentage change, and then also a, an, an annual percentage change, how we've done this year versus last year. Okay. Off you go. And like I said, anything, you know, if you think of anything else that you'd like to see on a monthly basis, I can certainly put together any any information. It just depends on what, you know, what you're willing to look at or want to look at. Okay, we're good. Now, we, so any other questions about, any questions about that stuff? Okay, we had two other items on there. You know, just hang tight, we're going to get you right back up. B, the, the municipal code. Um, Sandy asked that we defer that to the next deal so she can get some more information together uh, in a, and then uh, on the click strip label design stuff, she asked to defer it. What do we have in our budget that we can, Jennifer, what do we have in our budget that we could spend on office supplies? Is that stuff already budgeted in there? Um, it is budgeted, but please keep in mind that at the time that I wrote this budget in September, 
We did not know that we were going to have a new council, so I did not anticipate those expenses. So we will have to amend your office supplies line item to include new council changeover expenses. So this, there's a little play in this number here for office supplies. I think we put in there just 5000 Okay, so anything that, so after we figure out what this is, we'll just have to amend it before we can spend Correct. it. Correct. Okay. Well, no, not before we can spend it. As long as um, we get approval, Sandy is the authorized signer to do POs. Okay. Just, but you giving her that authority means that you are willing to amend the budget should she, you know, approve the expenditure out of her department. Okay. Finance items on this budget, that, on this agenda that we have coming up tonight, we've got the two leases, and, and, and I think some of us had talked to Sam about it, so we didn't ask him to come here. Those are all in line with what we had budgeted? Well, Sam is wanting to lease that equipment, which is under a long-term government rental program contract, right. where we will not own it at the end of the time. We will simply rent it, basically. Instead of purchasing it, we evaluate what we're going to spend to change the oil, hydraulic fluid, what you know, maintenance on against the monthly rent that we would pay to rent them and what it would be worth at the end of working it for however many years and you know trying to sell it or in the event that an excavator comes out with some new arm or something you know we don't we don't have to wait to get the new functionality we can simply tell dog it or whoever that we want to trade in for the new model that would make the crews more efficient then you go we want it now right yes. okay. okay so so you're comfortable that those numbers work for what we want to do i am okay and, and he simply has to ask your permission because instead of spending a dollar we're obligating future revenues okay you know, so. the one question that no you had you said he had he he was going to purchase it so it's a is it it still works in the same line item in the budget versus a capital outlay versus a rental it's all worked fine, or is that going to be something that needs to be amended at a later date? We actually budget our rentals line item and our capital outlay line item separately, so the, the dollar amount will move up to the rentals line item, but the budget variance works in total. So as long as we're not greater than 5% over our budget in total, we're fine. So it doesn't matter what line item the money's coming out of as long Correct. as Correct, as long okay. as in total, we're okay. not over by 5%. And then, and then there's a there's a there's a deal on I, I'll just tell y'all there's an item on there about extending the the, the, the contract on the road program mm -hmm. and I did some some questioning on it there's a we're even though the price of oils drop the, the 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 and the price of liquid asphalts come down the price of gravel's going up so constantly it's a it's a, I think it's a wash on I think it's a wash on the asphalt price with respect to what it was in 14 and what it is now is that what we determined um, i haven't ran the numbers but just talking to the engineer and the, the contractor it's probably going to work out in our favor to just do a change order and add the 3.5 million that's budgeted into the current contract and keep rolling so i just want to bring those i think what we're going to try to do in the future is finance items that we've got instead of having to discuss them in depth at an open meet i mean at the at the regular council meeting is we're going to try to put them on the agenda beforehand so that we can address them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's going to be times that stuff's going to come up, but if we can address them at the committee level and do all the discussion, then it'll hopefully it'll make our council meeting, you know, more efficient. So I think yeah. that's the goal. And it always works out easier for me if, if finance can get me questions. You know, it, it's easier for four of y'all to get me questions ahead of time than it is for me to try to pull from my Dig it out. brain because bank the night of, yeah. of, you know. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, going back, trying to figure. I mean, I got, I got, Miss Teal to pull us some, uh, some uh, old agendas, you know, and old minutes from previous finance. And if you just ask a question that's not readily she deals with on a day-to-day -day basis, she's not going to be able to answer it anyway. So it's better if we can try to let her know what we're what we're thinking and what items we've got, so she can give us a valid or an answer at this point in time. If you ask something that she's not prepared for then we're not, you're not going to get an answer, answer anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I think yeah. that's what we're going to try to do on this relationship. Whenever and, we can, yeah. In this committee meeting. So, I don't know that we have any other business. We appreciate you coming. Does y'all guys have anything you want to ask her? Is there anything about the, the information that we need to start getting it at a certain date and change the cutoff? Y'all need to think about those things and okay. let me know. what Or you maybe you can study, you know, you, you might have the time to study it afterwards and then, 
you'll have some different questions next, you know, yeah. next month. So I think we're going to do this the, the, the second meeting of the month every time we're going to try to have the finance. But don't wait to ask questions. Oh, I no, 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 I understand. No, we understand. We're going to no, we're gonna, we're gonna, I was going to come to me with your questions daily, and then if we have anything we need finance to approve, we bring it to you right. at, at finance. But, you know. No problem. Okay. Any, uh, any other business? No. Thank you, ma'am. I got a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Got a second? Second. Jeff made the motion, Tracy seconded. Do we have to roll call on that? Yes. Mr. R? Yes. Mr. Garlinghouse? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Mr. Tower? Yes. Thank you all. All right.